working with brand ambassadors. This is very, very important. Brand ambassadors are those people which are very, very enthusiastic about your product or services and they are spreading the word all over to all their friends, to everybody they meet about how good your products and services are. Uh, basically, the statement that I've made here, it's somehow idealistic because most of the time uh, a brand ambassador is not necessarily a person with a high social influence. It's just a person that is very enthusiastic about your products, but this is the ideal. Uh, a brand ambassador is a person with a high social influence that endorses your brands and shares the same value and principle as your brand. So somehow I've overstated what a brand ambassador should be like, but that's the ideal, okay? You, you would want, uh, a, as a brand ambassador, a person that has a high social influence. Anyway, any type of brand ambassador is very good, so any person who is enthusiastic and spreading the word around, it's the best marketer that you can have, and you know that already. So these are the people that are the most enthusiastic about your products, services and brand as I specified to you before. Now they help with humanizing the brand, increasing your social reach and providing a credible word of mouth and increasing your exposure. You know that the best type of marketing is word of mouth. So practically when a person recommends to another person which trusts him uh, a product, a service, an offer and he says to that person, okay, take this one, it's very good, uh, I've tried it already. Uh, the probability for that person to buy that actual product or service is very, very high. It's actually the highest from all the marketing forms that are out there. Okay, so that's why it's very important to work with brand ambassadors. And let me show you a little bit how, uh, how practically uh, different brands are doing that on Instagram. And we are going back to my Instagram account. Now, if we take a look at National Geographic here, okay, sometimes brand ambassadors can be people from the actual company, from the actual brand, okay? For example, uh, if we look here at the posts of, uh, of National Geographic, we can see, the, uh, okay, we can see that the photo is made by, okay, John Stanmeyer, which is actually a, also a brand ambassador for them, because if we take a look at John's uh, profile user, he has... 200,000 followers, okay, from different, uh, from different, uh, with different photos and images that he creates from all around the world, okay. So, uh, John is also a brand ambassador for National Geographic, okay, and uh, they are also specify him here. He probably shares the photos that he made for National Geographic uh, to to all the world, to all his followers. And that's how, let's say, it's created a synergy between the brand ambassador's account, Instagram account, and the actual brand's account, okay? Now let's take a look at a different, at a different uh, brand. And a different brand would be ASOS.com, which is a very big fashion retailer from, an online fashion retailer from the UK. And if we have a look at this post, which I saw a little bit earlier, uh, we have here Millie Cotton. It's featuring Millie Cotton, okay, which is a pretty uh, popular DJ from London and has almost uh, uh, 20,000 followers, okay, and she's like a brand ambassador for ASOS, okay. So we can have different examples of brand ambassadors. Brand ambassadors are also people that are featured in different brands' posts. Uh, for example, if we have a look uh, on this example that we have found earlier uh, for this user from the raw vegan in uh, niche, okay, we can see that a brand ambassador could be considered Greg Noir, okay, because he's specified here. And uh, if we go and take a look at Greg Noir's uh, account and he posts stuff related to raw vegan, then he's clearly a brand ambassador, okay? So brand ambassadors can be very, very powerful, okay? You can even, uh, let's say, set up different types of programs specially made for brand ambassadors, for people who are very enthusiastic about your brand, about your product or service, and that they are sharing that with the world. You can make like loyalty programs for them, rewarding programs for them, and so on. But that's a little bit more complicated. You go into, uh, let's say, a more complex uh, more complex tactic. Now let's go back to tactic number four, okay? So tactic number four is using video. Now 
video is the spotlight for social media in 2016 and for the years to come. So a lot of people are still not using video on Instagram, especially because uh, Instagram actually started uh, as an image based okay, social media platform. But because video became such a huge trend in the last couple of years, it just makes sense to start to use it. OK, you know what I mean? It's already proven that video, even on Instagram, video gets twice more engagement than photos do. Why? The reason is simple. Video allows you to be more interactive, engaging, natural with your audience. And that's exactly what they want. OK, so what you want to do is to create your videos to be shareable from the get go. OK, so you need to create funny videos that send a very clear message that are actually shareable, OK, that people see and OK, think about that video. Oh, I have to to show my friend this. OK, so you have up to 60 seconds that the maximum uh, of, uh, of the length of a video that you can post on Instagram. So you have up to 60 seconds in which you can send your story, create emotion and engage your audience. And let me show you an example of brands that are actually using video. You can see that a lot of, of brands, you will see that a lot of brands are actually using video. And let's have a look here on National Geographic to see if they have any video. And we can see already that they have. Okay, so they already have one video. Another one. Let's see. Not a lot of videos, but I think it's something normal for the niche. Another one and so on. Let me have a look at a different brand. We work, okay, a video, video, let's see, video, okay, 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 video again. So as you can see, maybe one of five posts is a video. Now, if we take a look at Frank Bot, which is a skincare company, we can see that they have a lot of videos, so video number one video two, video three, video four. Actually for them, I think one of three posts are videos, which is actually pretty nice. Okay. Because video gets you a lot of engagement. So these are just example guys. You have to go, okay, to these different types of brands or to brands from your actual niche to see what types of video they are posting exactly like on the style of photos and see what types of videos are getting engagement. And you have to use those type of videos as well. Now, guys, let's go back to the presentation and we are at our last tactic, which is tactic number five and tactic number five. It's all about holding contests, as I've told you in different types of niches, especially if uh, you are already becoming a big brand and you are selling products, especially contests work very well. OK, everybody loves free stuff and that is a fact. We all know that even if you have to give things away in a contest, most of the time, the return on investment, even if it's something indirect that you will uh, that you will get, will make it worth it. OK, so it will make it worth it. Now, a contest on Instagram, it's a great way to reward and engage your follower as well as it's a great way to get new followers, because one of the type of contests is to tag a friend in a post. OK, and that's how you practically get new people to see your brand. You can create contests with comments. For example, people who have commented on a post have a chance to win something. People who like the post have a chance to win. People who tag the friend in a post have a chance to win. People who posted a photo on their, on their account with your brand, okay, with your product, using your product, uh, have a chance to win and using a specific hashtag. Okay, these are called user generated contests, have a chance to win. And I want to show you some examples. And we are going back on Instagram and we We'll actually see an example from Frank Bod, who has this type of, uh, of contest right now. And let's see, for example, we take this post. So their contest has the hashtag Team Peppermint. OK, so when a post workout, do you want to join? OK, so if you use this hashtag and you post an image on Instagram, a photo using their products and this hashtag, you can get a year's supply from the company for the product that you are using. OK, so this is a type of contest like that. Now you can see that are different people that are participating. OK, look at this one, Team Cacao. OK, let's see another one, Team Coconut. OK, 
let's see another one team original let's see another one okay different effect so as you can see different types of the frank effect okay so these are practically guys they have more hashtags team coconut team peppermint the frank effect and they have organized the contest so everybody who is posting a photo and uh, practically they they use their products in that photo and they have the hashtag one of those hashtags have has a chance to earn a, a year's supply from them with these products okay pretty neat contest right so this is actually guys very very uh, a very very good example of a contest now that's how you can use it too for your brand okay or you can make only a contest only with a post with likes with tags with comments what however you want it but i personally like the most this type of contest now guys let's go back to the presentation here we end our top five tactics i hope that you will apply these tactics uh, you will ad adapt them first of all to your model of business and use at least one two or three of them to your business and to see growth and i'm looking forward for your feedback and for your success and i thank you again for your attention and for being here with me and i really hope these were uh, good examples and good case studies of how you can apply these tactics and i hope that they were useful for you thank you for watching and i will see you guys in uh, our future videos and classes bye bye for now sorry in here